What up, YouTube? Coach coming at you today on this wonderful Tuesday afternoon. It rained a lot last night here in Alabama, so it's still kind of muggy out, but it's warm. It's it's uh it's it's kind of nice though. I like it. But uh, I don't have any TTMs to bring you guys today. I have a uh, one package. It's from a uh, contest that I won, a subscription contest. Um, I hope it don't turn out to be a slow week as far as TTMs go. Uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I do know that my, my Cal Ripken Jr. books have been shipped. So they're on their way. And I will have one for trade. So... If any of you guys are interested in one of those, it's going to be signed by uh, Cal Ripken. And I believe it's going to be signed by uh, Mr. Coward. I can't remember his first name. I think it's like Tim Coward or something. But anyways, get to my package today. It comes from Text Print. I uh, won his subscription contest. And I uh, just want to tell him thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you do for the hobby and the community here on YouTube. Um, guys like you and Sevens and Landshark and TTM Network and TTM uh, Productions. I mean, you guys are amazing, man. I really do appreciate all you do. Anyway, started out. He sent me a uh, Adrian Peterson McFarlane. Really nice, really nice. You can sell it. The uh, package is in mint condition, no no dings, no bangs, and it's, it's awesome. I do collect these actually. That's that's what I I think I even I bought one of these uh these series 24 the other day and I don't know who I bought. I forgot. Can't remember if it was Heinz Ward or who it was, but uh, I bought one. It might have been Adrian Peterson. I can't remember because I have so many, but I'll check. I think if my if I did buy one, it's going to be a different jersey than what what's listed here. So uh, that'd be great. But uh, I appreciate this man. Also in the box, he uh, sent some of his customs: basketball, football, and hockey and baseball. I really really love the baseball. Look at that. That is beautiful, man. I. Uh, show you guys a uh, photo of the uh, football there there's a photo of the football really nice man he did an outstanding job on them. and on the back see even you know you can put the name of the team and the date that it was signed or the date that the player played there um, I believe this one's gonna have the hockey there goes the hockey. Really nice cards, man. Really nice. He did an outstanding job. Um, so he sent me, I think, I think he said 25 or 50, no, 50 of each. Which, man, that's, you know, you didn't have to do that, man. You really did He also sent some uh, Hall of Fame postcards. Really nice. Be autographed. Really nice. I'm really definitely going to put these to use. I'm going to put the others to use too, but you know what I'm saying. I, I really, really like these postcards. I'm going to put them to use, like, soon. Um, he also included some signed cards, which uh, I do appreciate, man. You got Steve Grogan, the Patriots. You got Ed Yost. Look at how nice that is. That's one of his uh, cars that he he made up. It's pretty nice. Look at that. It's beautiful, man. Signed in blue ink. Eddie Oost. Can't remember what this guy. Mr. Duckett. It's Allen and Ginner. That's the only Allen and Ginner I have autographed. I haven't got any of those autographed yet. And I, I, I have no idea who this is. Looks like McAfee or I don't know. It don't look like George though. Uh, I can't tell. But something. It starts with an M. Last name does. 
So uh, text print, if you don't mind, let me know who that is. I'll write it on the back because I have no idea just by looking at it. I obviously don't have his autograph. I don't have Eddie Osis either, and I appreciate that. I, uh, and last but not least, Chuck Bernard. He signed it on the back. Chuck's getting a little old up in age, so, uh, you know, it's understandable. I, I, uh, I've really enjoyed talking with Mr. Uh, Chuck, you know, backwards and forwards through mails and stuff. He's an outstanding guy. If you guys don't have him, mail him. I'm telling you, it's worth your while. Him, Mr. Uh, who else? Uh, Mr. Door, Mr. McPhail. All them guys, man, if you guys don't have them, you need to get them before uh, they leave this world. Because I'm telling you, they are class acts, I, I promise you. You won't be depressed uh, with your male days <laughs> when you go with them. Because they, they really hook you up. But uh, text print guy, man, I really, really do appreciate it. You saved my day today. You uh, prevented me to have an empty mailbox, and I really do appreciate that. I appreciate the contest that you gave. Um, like I said, man, it's people like you guys that uh, really make this hobby a lot of fun. I really mean that. You know, I, I enjoy collecting autographs. I've been doing it for a long time, and uh, to me, it's, it's the best thing I've ever done with my life as far as um, doing something in a community set base, I guess. And um, I really met a lot of good people on here, and I want to thank all of you. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Uh, wrestling was good last. It was good last night. It wasn't great. Uh, the Rock should have been there, man. He's disappointing me. I love The Rock, but uh, it keeps coming via satellite. So. I hope he'll be there next uh, week and beat the crap out of Miz. I can't stand the Miz. I'm a big John Cena fan. I'm a big Rock fan. I knew these two would, you know, go at it when The Rock came back just because at the Hall of Fame speech that uh, The Rock was giving when he was inducting his dad and granddad and all them in. He was talking back and forth with uh, Cena, talking about how they hadn't wrestled and stuff. So I knew that when he came back, it was eventually going to be that. But I hope they don't make The Rock to be a bad guy. But uh, anyways, if any of you guys are going to Atlanta to the uh, autograph thing, I can't remember what it's called. It's like WrestleMania. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't remember what it's called. It's something WrestleMania something. If any of you guys are going to it, let me know, man. Cause I really do want Roddy Piper's autograph. I mean, I want it bad. And uh, there's a few more that I'd really like to have. It's, they're like the older Hall of Famer guys. I'd like to have a John Cena 8x10 also, and possibly The Rock if he's going to be there. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, God bless each and every one of you, and I pray that your mailbox is full. And uh, have a great and outstanding day. And be sure to hit me up and subscribe, guys. Take care.